Alright guys, back at it. Battery died, so uh, yeah, battery died when I fixed all this. So basically what it was is the rod that was in there was, this whole thing was twisted. So I just had to twist it back. So it works. Um, and then I started filing. I didn't know that the camera crashed. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to see if there's grease already in this. It doesn't feel like there's grease in there. Let's see. Let's see if there's grease. Oh, man. I used to use this stupid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, boy. What the f just happened? This whole back just popped off. I mean, it looks like there's grease in there. Move. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. It's working. It's working. Working. You guys can't see it, but it's working. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just putting some grease in there, spinning this thing. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, you can. Been grease in there. Do this little hole. Yes, I don't know. Feels like something's coming out. Oh, there we go. There we go. I felt that that time. Let's see it even probably. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, it's working. It's working, guys. And a little lube, a little grease on that cog. So, I don't know. Ended up uh, sharpening the chain, figured out the right angle. So that's a 30 degree angle. Sorry, 35 degree angle. If you guys can see that or not. 35. So basically, how you do it I'll show you real quick let me get in here so you line up that let me see let's see let's see so that mark right there is going to be the line is going to be 35 degree and that line is going to mark up with with the bar the chain bar so, um, I was doing it wrong. So what I was doing was I was pushing, pushing through them. So I'd push back up, back up, back up. I was pushing through them, pushing it, and then pushing it. Because I figured you'd want no burrs on the edge of those uh, teeth. So what I was doing was I was taking it and pushing it through that way and uh, so that there was no burrs on it well it turns out they want you to they want you to pull at that angle so we have that angle 
where the bar is and they want you to pull this way so that you're you're pulling but then you're you're lifting you're lifting the file off and then you're pulling so they want you to do like three or four passes so when I was doing it the other way when I was pushing it it was like catching and vibrating and all kinds of weird things so um, one thing I would recommend as a tip I'll show you on the other saw real quick a quick little tip so that's the old piece that is now trash and the other one I'll keep in the drawer my junk drawer all right quick little tip here we go oh boy this one's so much heavier so we have I, I don't know if you're supposed to do this this is what I'm doing because I don't care because know me I don't care so you got the top of this so as you can see I already cleaned this one I'm basically taking this flat file and I'm cleaning the top of these off if that makes sense or not because there's a there's a lot of debris and a lot of dirt on top of these so I'm taking all that debris all that dirt and everything off I'm sure you could do it a different way but uh, I found the file to be the best way and as you can see let me try to zoom in on this tooth right there so let's get in on that tooth it'll eventually focus maybe with the right light just go back then so anyway you can see that tooth is pretty pretty chewed up down in here so with it being chewed up it makes the uh, it makes it so that it's not flat so when you stick this bar on here that's going to be a long, stupid video. So when you stick this bar on here, so you have the tooth, and you want it to set that on the tooth right there. So this is a 30 thousandths of an inch, 0.75 millimeters, to file that. So basically, if you set that on there and you got a uh, chip tooth, poking up or you got debris on top of this this tooth I guess you'd call it um, it's gonna lift this higher so when you come in to file those down to file the little runners in front of them down what you're gonna have is you're not gonna have the right tolerance so that means that this could be taller than when you go actually cut and it knocks down those that debris that uh it won't cut properly it'll either just bite in or it won't bite it won't cut at all so they say the first step so like this one here I can feel it's got debris on it let me see if I can get you guys in on that quick maybe, maybe not so this tooth here that tooth right there has got a lot of debris on it well not a lot but quite a bit of debris and it's uh chipped right here chipped upwards so when you go to stick this on that you're losing all that tolerance right there so that's why i i have learned since i just did that chain over there just to take this file and file this flat to get rid of all the debris and to get rid of the the tooth that's been chipped so that way that way when you stick this on here you can file this and actually get it to file if that makes sense 
So, but this chain is still good. This chain is still pretty, pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and just sharpen this whole chain, do all this, what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm bored. I don't really have anything to do today. Um, I was going to work on the kid's truck, do something real quick to it, or check something on his truck that, uh, I don't know, I saw on a video. So, anyway, pretty boring, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I forgot this one will not start. Um, because I was running such bad fuel in it, the Echo won't start because the bad fuel and I jacked the whole carburetor up. So I got to return the carburetor all back to stock. All the uh, high idle, low idle, and the uh, air fuel mixture screw. But I don't really think I, I don't think I mess with the air fuel mixture screw. So anyway, I'm just going along this. Just servicing it because I'm gonna have to cut some more branches down and stuff, but I don't want to do it right now because it's been raining for a couple days and everything's pretty heavy. So, this these next couple teeth they got a lot sticking up, and you can I can hear them when I'm filing because it should just be smooth. But instead it's cutting, like, if that makes sense. It's like cutting material, so you can hear it if all these guys aren't having fun out there. So, and birds. So, like this one you'll be able to, I can see it, I can see it, and then you'll be able to hear it. So it just took off that edge, because it makes like a... So, like this one's got an edge. So I want to, I want to basically file that down. I don't know if you can hear it. This one's got a lot of edge. Now it's gone. So, anyway, that's all I'm doing. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Um, and then, obviously, have to change the file because this isn't the right file. Um believe I need a 3 16 file which is 7.30 seconds this is a 3 16 file and uh, basically how you can tell what file you need is by how it fits in there um, let's see if can zoom you in so we have this tooth here so you can see, let's go to the side a little bit. Man, this thing does not want to turn. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's caught on something. <laughs> anyway, you take the file, you stick it in there, and you can see it's basically right at the edge of it. So that when it cuts, it cuts. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see this one or not. Um, this file is too small. So what happens is if, if you cut, if you use a smaller file, I'll just do it real quick. And the good thing about this one is it's got the angle, which is 35 degree. So if you use this one here, So if you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it cuts too deep in there, so it'll cut back into here instead of cutting underneath this. Let me see here. Let's go find the right one. So if I take this one here and I pull it, let's just do it real quick. Pull it.
Uh, you guys are probably freaking out because I don't have the little guide, but whatever. So as you can see, it'll it'll do the whole tooth underneath the lip here. It'll get all the way in here, and it'll get down in here. So this way the whole tooth will be sharp, as opposed to it creating a, a valley back in here. And uh, basically it won't sharpen underneath there, and it won't sharpen the whole tooth. So if you use this one, so as you can see the whole tooth will be sharp, which it it is. <laughs> so anyway guys, that's going to be it for the video. I'm done. I'm getting text messages out the wazoo. Um, <sighs> anyway, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking in. Um, I think the next... When I go to use these, it'll be my next days off because I have a short trip um, home. I don't have very much time home. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt, um, especially not knowing what's going on with my car up there. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Subscribe. Give me a like. Do what you guys do. Later.